right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here for Seven Season Studios, and this week's tutorial is a special two-parter complete with a brush download. So in part one, which should be over to the right-hand side on YouTube, we prepared the photo of the African elephant for texturing for this brush. So if you're interested in that and you haven't seen part one, go ahead and check out part one. But if you're interested in just seeing what you can do with it, go ahead and check out part two. This is where we take that texture and apply it into a brush. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and let's create a new file. Now I'm just going to go 2048 by 2048. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and make it gray. All right. So we're going to create a gray rectangle just like that. And now let's make it a little darker shade of gray. Go ahead and do that part. Let's make it a little darker shade of gray. All right, now we're going to go ahead and swap over to the pixel persona. This is worth noting. These sorts of textural brushes only work in the pixel persona. So I've created a category called animal texture. And if you're not sure how to create a new category, you come up here, create new category, rocket science. Now, inside of this category, we're going to put in the new intensity brush. And in your downloads, there are two textural files. One is texture file, and then I inverted it. So if you're again interested in figuring out how to do this, check out the video that's linked below. This is part one of this week's. All right, go ahead and let's hit open. And let's start with this texture file. All right, now that doesn't look anything like what we were looking at, right? So this is how we're gonna prep our brush. We're going to increase the size a little bit and we're gonna crank up that spacing because we want it to be almost a stamped brush. I'm gonna crank down the hardness because I want a real soft side and I'm gonna crank down the flow because I don't want it to be 100% all or nothing. I'm gonna keep it at about 80%. All right, now let's take a look at the texture. There's our brush nozzle. And remember, texture brushes work in black and white. So white reveals, black conceals. So we go to here and we close. Now, let's give it a shot. We come over to our brush. We grab a color. And I'm going to make this color a little darker than what I had before. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to zoom it up a little bit. And I'm going to put a new layer on top of it. So this is going to allow me to troubleshoot my brush. Now you can do a lot of stuff with this, right? You go here you take a look at the texture. Overall, I like it. I think I'm in pretty good shape with it. All right. So to begin with, that's a very acceptable brush in order to get the texture I'm looking for. But you see all the gray. What I really want to do is invert it. So I want to have brush textures to do both. So here I go to brush. I'm in my animal texture panel still. I'm going to create a new intensity brush. And this time I'm going to use the inverted texture. And again, very similar settings. Crank the size up. Crank the hardness down. Crank the spacing up. Crank the flow down to about 80%. And go ahead and hit close. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that layer just so I can trial it. I'm going to create a new layer and now I'm going to crank up my brush size and let's see what I get here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that that's good looking right there. Now, depending on what you're looking for, that is awesome texture. So you've got an inverted brush and you've got this brush here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to rename the brush. I'm going to call this elephant one and these are going to be available also folks in your downloads so as soon as i get done doing this these are going to be available for you as a download with this particular lesson and then we're going to rename this brush we're going to call this inverted elephant one now i tend when i do these sorts of brushes because i never know what i'm going to want i tend to do an inverted and a regular texture on these sometimes i'll just do the inverted it depends on how I save the file. 
All right, folks, so that is how you create a new intensity brush, a new texture brush using a file from part one in Affinity Designer. All right, folks, well, that is how to do a texture brush in Affinity Designer from an actual photo. We showed you in the last one how to prep the photo. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video from us. And if there's something you're struggling with in Affinity Designer, go ahead and hit me up in the comments below. Lastly, if you're interested in taking a complete course on Affinity Designer, there's a link down there to get our course, Affinity Designer, the complete guide to Affinity Designer for $20. This thing is packed full of 14 hours worth of Affinity Designer. It is the biggest, baddest course out there on the subject. All right, folks, have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one.